First thing I got here is my hopefully long enough bite leader. Okay, crimps, double line, Lingrid Pittman 18 knot carbon steel circle hook. Of course, done, double crimps. I'm gonna take a whole blue fish. And I'm gonna try to just go through his mouth here. Right up to his eyeball. Pull that through. Just down below the backbone. Yep, right in there like that. And pull that real tight. And then what I'd usually do. I take a rubber band just to keep it real nice and simple here. And I'll go around. Go around the leader. And use that to sort of hold them on. So, like that. using his gills. All right. And I want him to hang sort of without putting tension on this. Okay. Now you can, of course, which I don't have the knife because I broke it in half the other day. Mm -hmm. So we take that, set him to the side. Take our other one with a little weak fish on it. Kind of do the same thing. I go in and then I'm going to try to poke it through his eyeball on the top of his head. These big fish aren't fussy, are they, Dave? I don't think sharks are all that fussy. They're usually not all that leader shy either. No. But still. Okay. So that's like that. latch right there. So hook is nice and straight. Okay. So there you go. Looks good. Alright, so then we're gonna take our sap swivel with our 300 pound wind on leader. I'm hoping 300 pounds is good enough. <laughs> This is just a test of the emergency emergency shark fishing system. Just a test. So then I'm going to open up this. Oh, very hard to do with slippery hands. That's one hell of a swivel right there. Well, we ain't fishing for little ones. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to take that. And say take a eight, something like that, because I want to hold them down. And then right in here, 
I'm trying these instead of rubber bands just so it can hold it a little tighter or closer to the leader. Plus you might actually end up keeping your weight. I don't want to keep my weight. I want that, I want that son of a gun gone. <laughs> I mean, and if I can. Well, and if it didn't, I mean, what, why would that be? Why would that be a problem? It's just because it could be slinging around the side of the boat. Okay. Let me get some cutters here. Yeah, I mean, this could be slinging around when you got a fish on the side of the boat. Yeah. So then there's that. Okay, and hopefully that'll break off. Then. We got our bag of balloons. Okay. What I do? Are these special shark fishing balloons, or you just rig these up yourself? No, as a matter of fact, they're the same thing the dudes use on wicked tuna. Okay. Oh, wicked tuna. Guess you can't go wrong there, then. They're called punch balloons. Yeah. And they're made for like little kids. I get this tag on it right here. Yeah. Put this nice little rubber band. All right. So then what I do is I get my, I want to set it down deep, right? I want it to be at a certain depth. I don't want to be right on the surface. So this is my wind on leader with a old hunk of balloon rubber right there. Going to Right there, you got a loop connection between a double line. Now, what is that leader? Uh, what's the purpose of that metal piece there? Is that for shock absorption or something? Or shock? well, this okay. here is this line, 300 pound mono, yeah. going into Dacron, which is probably a thousand pound or something. Which is it? really heavy, right? And then it's all whipped on this end here. Yeah. Right, it's creating a little whip end, mm -hmm. right, where it's all whipped around and glued and everything. And then it goes, the 300 pound model goes in and it creates a Chinese finger. The tighter this pulls, yes. the tighter it grips, and there's the Dacron going, and then that's a loop, and then here's a loop, and you do a loop to loop connection. Okay, so you're going to lighter mono or? Yep, I mean, and then I yeah. go to, here's my double. Mm -hmm. Going to, I'm not good at bimini twists. So that's an Australian plat, what they call that right there. It's braided. Now I'm down to here, 100 pound mono, 100 pound mono, and underneath this 100 pound mono is a 100 pound okay. power pro. Okay. So right around in here, I know I'm 25 feet deep because the wind on leader is 25 feet. And what I'm going to do is I do sort of the same thing here as I did with the Gonna get that going. All right. So see how that cinches up and it holds it. Mm -hmm. That's the whole game plan. And you want this to cinch on tight, and I always check it and I pull it like that. And see how it's not slipping. Mm -hmm. day when I was doing this I had a balloon that was actually leaking and as it was going out there it was Cinch. waving goodbye bye. Oh, wow. So there you go. So what we're going to do is untangle this. Very, 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 very similar to the Wicked Tuna dudes on TV. <laughs> if it's good enough for TV, and now we're going to let this drift off behind the back of the boat. Because, of course, there is no casting an no. Avet two speed <laughs> yeah. 50 wide. Okay. So, this is a bit of a process. I guess just depending on the current, yeah. Well, we want that to get out behind the boat where the chum slick is. Go ahead and get a shot of the, the
the blood chum sitting in the chum bucket there. That is sinking oil mixed with blood meal. Blood meal type stuff. And, a, and then it's in a little bag just to, so you can manage it. Yeah. There's a little bit going out there behind the boat. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit. You're not going to see a big slick no. because that's a sinking oil. Right. In it. Right. And of course, for sharks, you know, you don't need, you know, you don't need all this stuff because if it smells like blood, they've got a big snipe for that stuff. Yeah, right? they're going to figure it out. See all the bloom? It's starting to go away. Yeah. I'm not sure if the camera will catch that when I'm looking in the sun, but yeah. But see, you ever watch the Wicked Tuna show and you see the guys standing here like this? Yeah, they're they're sitting in here pulling line out. They put out so many lines that many times their lines are right here, and they got a rubber band to the handle of the reel because they're trying to put out as many lines as humanly possible, right? So and one thing they never show them on the show doing is reeling all those lines in yeah. when they got a fish on. Yeah. They skip that part. Mm -hmm. Well, nobody wants to see that. Do I do. <laughs> You want to see the basket weaving? The panic. Yeah, I want to see the tangles. The and, panic. And how they're like just throwing everything on the deck. You know? So, okay, now we're letting out the line. It's drifting out slowly, 100 pound mono. But the business end has the 300 pound wind on to the 480 pound cable. And to the 18 knot Lingrid Pittman circle hook. Yeah. All right, so I guess that's that. He's not big, though. He's not big. Do you want me to bring this other rod in? Nah. It's, it's, it's not big. He's not as big Wind on is in the in the guide. Oh, oh my God! What a head shaker! Like the one that I saw swimming. Yeah, there he is. There he is.